Hi everyone, this is Craig Jellick with Rancher Labs. Today, I want to demo Rancher's native Docker integration for you. At a high level, this feature allows you to use other Docker tools to create and manage your containers while still gaining the benefits of having Rancher co-manage and augment these containers. So let's get started. You can see I have a typical Rancher deployment here with two hosts connected to it. Let's level set by walking through a typical way of deploying a container on Rancher. From the UI, you'd click the Add Container button on a particular host and fill in the details. The container is immediately started on the host and you have a number of actions available to you, such as restart, stop, delete, execute shell, and view logs. So let's see how this works with native Docker integration. First, I'll jump onto the host, which I've already SSH'd into, and launch a container. Keep your eye on the Rancher UI as I enter this command. So as you can see, the container was immediately started in Rancher, and the IP address that Docker assigned to it is displayed. Other actions you take on the container from the command line work as well. So let's stop this container. You can see the state in Rancher is immediately updated to stop as well. Stopped as well. Uh, we can also delete the container. And the container goes to deleted in Rancher. Let's start up another container, and this time we'll jump right into it to demonstrate how the logs integration works. So this time I didn't start the container in the background, I'm, I'm directly in it. I'll do something like a simple echo. The command is echo. The container was started in the Rancher UI, and we can connect to its logs. And in real time, you can see the logs of the container show up. And when I exit the container, the logs are immediately disconnected, and we can see that the container immediately went to stopped um, in the UI. So let's clean up a little bit here. I'll delete these containers. And we'll move on to the next part of the demo. This, this next part will show you how you can use Rancher's managed network with native containers. So I'm going to start up another container here. This time I'm going to add a label to it that lets Rancher know that it should be added to the managed network. Also expose the container on port 5000 for a later part of the demo. So as you can see, I added the io.rancher.container.network equals true label. And let's start this container. So once again, it shows up in the Rancher UI, but this time the IP address it has is on the 10.42 subnet, which is the one Rancher uses as its managed network subnet. So next, to demonstrate cross-host networking with native containers, I'll start a container on the second host. I'll add the same label to it to indicate that it should be on the managed network. and start the container. Okay, as you can see, once again, the container showed up in the UI, this time on the second host. And next, we'll install a Telnet client so that we can demonstrate the two containers talking to each other.
Okay, so let's get the IP of this first container. All right, as you can see, it's displayed down here. And in our second container, we will get the telnet command teed up. And we'll jump back to the first container and we'll start listening on port 5000. All right, now we'll connect. So this demonstrates that with completely outside of Rancher, you're able to start up two containers. Uh, they were able to join the Rancher network and they're able to talk to each other across hosts. That concludes this part of the demo. Uh, I'll just exit these two containers and clean things up a bit. As the final part of the demo, I want to show that you can actually import an existing Docker host into Rancher and have all of the existing containers on it recognized by Rancher. So down here in this other terminal, I have a, another host that I've created. And if we do a quick Docker PS, you can see that I have a number, number of containers already created. So let's add this host to Rancher. Go to the custom tab under add host and copy the command. Then come back to your terminal and paste the command and root on this uh, host so I don't need sudo. And let's launch the agent. All right, as the agent starts up and registers, we should see it show up in the UI here. This may take a minute. There we go. You can see that the host uh, was, start, was recognized by Rancher and indeed all of the containers that were already on the host uh, now show up in Rancher. You will also notice that two of these containers were assigned 10.42 addresses. That's because prior to creating the or starting the agent I added the label to these two containers so you can even uh, bring pre-existing containers into Rancher if you know to label them beforehand. Okay that concludes this demo of Rancher's native Docker integration hopefully it demonstrated the power and flexibility that Rancher can give you uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our team hangs out in the Rancher channel on Freenode, and I'm Gorilla Nerd on Twitter. Thank you.